morning and uh, today is Friday December 4th and today is such a good day because I uh, all, I don't work on Friday so I have Friday always here in my office to do whatever I want to work and uh, now that it's vlogmas time I the only plan I have for today is actually just to do vlogmas so it's so nice to have some extra time and not too many plans so I started the morning just to tidy up a little bit in the house fix the lunch for the girls, send them to school, and then make myself a cup of coffee and sit in here for a little bit and knit on my second sleeve for the melancholy sweater. Let me just show you the progress. See? So one sleeve is all done and the other sleeve is almost done. So I think I will be finishing this today. And the sleeves look very slim, but um, they will, when they block, they will be they will be good. So I'm so excited that this pattern will actually maybe soon be uh, out there or at least ready for testing. But anyway, it is time to open mini skeins. So let us start with a homespun house. We have opened three so far. This was number one, number two and number three. So let's open number four. It's up here. Green! <laughs> That's a crazy color. I really like that. I usually don't pick uh, green for myself. Um, I recently did the uh, pillow moss mittens that's a pattern that's hopefully coming out during this weekend actually and I did those in green so it's so much fun actually to get green so now we have an interesting combination of very bright colors and that is I think that is actually I've forgotten the mic I'll just plug this in <laughs> I think actually that is one of the Good things about these uh, mini advent calendars is that you get colors that you probably wouldn't pick for yourself and that'll turn out to be something fun. Uh, sometimes a little push in a new color direction is actually good. Um, so I'm really excited about these very bright ones. I'm sure I'm gonna figure out how to do something very fun. Um, I have a few scrappy projects. Uh, that I'm working on. One is a corner to corner uh, blanket that I crochet but only in single ply yarn. So these are suck. So I won't be using those. But I have another that's like a brioche blanket where you knit with two fingering weight yarns at a time. So you can kind of knit and then when you run out of one, the one strand, you can just add another one. So it's kind of fading or changing colors like this all the time. Maybe on Sunday I can show you all my scrappy projects because just like the crazy sock lady that I just uh, watched her vlogmas this morning, she does have scrappy Sunday. I have talked about this before in my podcast and I just really enjoy, you know, the Sundays to just knit on, yeah, projects like scrappy projects and not feeling stressed about a deadline or anything with knitting. Uh, for a long time, I was very good at just doing the scrappy things on the Sundays, but uh, I've just had so many deadlines and I make the deadlines, so, you know, <laughs> I can just change. <laughs> but, uh, but um, yeah, then I feel bad for not finishing a sleeve or something, getting a pattern ready or so. I actually haven't been really good at the scrappy projects, but I think I will really try to be good with that for the rest of this year, at least here in December, just enjoy that Sundays can be whatever I want to. Okay, that was a <laughs> that was another talk. So, four cute bright colors from a homespun house. Molly, you really did a good job with this. This is so much fun. So now it's time for the advent calendar from Petra, uh, who, whose uh, company name is Fru Valbo. I have the basket here 
and let me find skein number four. Today that didn't take so long. Sometimes it takes a long time. Let's open number four. <clears throat> I like both ways. I like that Molly from the Homespun House did this uh, box that I just showed you before. I think it's really cute. But I also like these small, more like old fashioned brown paper bags that Petra did. <clears throat> I really enjoy that as well. I'm not gonna sneak peek. Aye, that is, that is fun. This is, ay, this is really pretty. So this is like a, what would you call this? Like a teal, green, blue. So that is actually really fun because so far we only have like the more pink. I think this, um, <clears throat> the one at the bottom is a uh, gray golden. Then we have a more, I don't know, rose, lavender and a white. So I'm very excited about this very high contrasting color. I'm really happy about that actually. So let's get this uh, baby caked up so we can uh, move on to clue number four. Okay, so let's get going to clue number four. Again, we need to find the inside of the skein. It's always a little excited. Not excited, exciting, because uh, sometimes you end up with a, like a little bit more yarn than you <laughs> hope for. This was our work from yesterday, and we're just gonna continue where we left off. So I will be joining this new color and uh, because the first round is a knit round, you will be working the increases just as we did uh, yesterday. So just do one row with increases and one purl row, and then I'll meet you back here. so windy outside and so gray the snow that we there was like 10 seconds of snow yesterday and it didn't stay so it's all melted away or actually it never even really landed you know and today it's just windy and gray and so cold and the weather's just awful So now we have worked a total of five rounds in the color D, one more purl round. And then you're going to have eight stitches left here. And we're going to place these on a stitch holder because it's going to be your thumb later. And uh, you can either use like a stitch holder like this, a piece of scrap yarn or whatever you prefer. I really like these tubes. This one I just cut so it's not as long. And I'm just going to put this at the tip of my needle and kind of push these last eight stitches on here then you're going to uh, go to the next round and then these first eight stitches on the next round you're just going to slip these to the same stitch holders I'm just going to put this tube on the tip of this other needle 
and then I'm gonna push the first eight stitches onto this holder one two three four five six seven eight so so that won't get in my way so I put the stitches here to rest for the thumb and now we're just gonna continue this is going to be easy from now on so you're just gonna keep working in garter stitch you will have 40 stitches if you're knitting the smaller size or 44 stitches if you're needing knitting if you are knitting the larger size so just knit until you have knitted a total of 10 rounds so do three more rounds in garter stitch so that was the clue number four and your mitten will be looking something like this hopefully i'm also knitting on my other uh, mitten so that once i finish the first one i will not be far behind on the second one look at my cute red poinsettia here it's uh if you <laughs> saw the episode from yesterday you could you probably maybe probably not but maybe you noticed that the leaves were kind of hanging a little bit and it looked a little sad so i gave it some more water i guess the poor thing was thirsty and today it's looking really good i think looks more happy and perky with those leaves so teddy has a friend over this is teddy's best friend hugo and they have been playing a little bit in the backyard Actually, Hugo ran away from home from our friends that live just up the street. And Hugo just really wants to come play with Teddy. <laughs> so today he ran away. And one of the kids up there came running down here to get him. And I told, uh, told him, just let him stay and play for a little while with Teddy. And now they've been playing and now they're looking at me going, can we have a bone or some food? But they can't they're too messy and they're not gonna let them in the house now but they're cute huh ebony and ivory are you hungry hugo are they not feeding you at home baby <laughs> he's such a labrador he's always hungry so whenever teddy has some food left in his bowl hugo will for sure eat it i am in the car Nomi just texted me from school asking if I could come pick her up. Usually she takes the bus and that's no problem, but she knows I'm not working today and the weather is just so cold. It's, I don't know if it's actually below zero, but the wind is just so cold. It feels like minus 10 degrees or something. It's awful. I just locked the door, both of the dogs in the little room. I don't know what that room is called. Oops. I just like the dogs in that, um, I know that has a word, that room where you have your, well, let's just call it my laundry room. I left the dogs there and I hope they're not going to escape and ruin the house while I'm gone. So yeah, I better get going, pick up Nomi, be back to check on the dogs. <laughs> we are here waiting for Nomi and oh Lord, it's just raining and so crabby. I just came back into the kitchen. It's uh, I have another 30 minutes before I need to make dinner. And I was just a little bit cold in my office. So I thought I'll just make myself a mug of this very delicious Christmas tea. This is called White as Snow. And it's like a cinnamon and apple. And it tastes really, really good. Unfortunately, I don't have any Christmas cookies. We might have to bake some tomorrow. Tonight, uh, my husband will be home. He's been gone in Norway for three weeks. So the girls and I are really excited to have him back. I look, my desk is a mess. I just cleaned it up this morning and now it looks like this. I need to clean this up. So I made myself a cup of tea. It's right over here. I'm gonna be careful not to spill this all over the place. 
and I have my melancholy sweater. I am very close to being done with this last sleeve, so hopefully, maybe by tonight, I will be done with the sweater and have it washed and blocked for tomorrow. Now I have a uh, 30 minutes or so before I need to go and make dinner. On Fridays, we always have fish. And usually, actually, we have kind of a, I don't know what it's called in English. Um, it's just like meatballs, but made out of fish. Um, I think it's similar to like a crab cake, but it's made out of, actually, I think it's made out of, uh, is that called trout? See, it would be a good idea for me to kind of do the research before I just open my mouth and talk about stuff I don't know how to say in English. But uh, I will take you with me when I cook dinner tonight and by then I will have uh, looked the words up so I know exactly what that is in English. I miss you, it's really good. Okay, I will be knitting now. I think he's tired from his play date. Just rolled up like a little, uh, what is that called with the spikes? Porcupine, no, hedgehog. Is it called a hedgehog? I think so. All rolled up. And this is actually the stuff I was talking about. And it's not trout, it's cod. And I think it's, you know, it's not minced because it's even more uh, like a mesh. So this is a typical, also a typical Danish thing to have these. We call them fiske frigadilla, and it is just uh, fish meatballs. <laughs> and um, yeah, I guess that's a pretty normal thing to have. Here I have the Porto for Christmas. We drink this for dessert with uh, some risalamang, which is like a rice pudding with a warm cherry sauce. I'm gonna end this vlog for today i'm editing now so i can get this uploaded to youtube that usually takes a little time and then i have to finish all the show notes before i can call it a day my husband will be home in a little bit so we're gonna get ready for him to arrive and watch the today's episode of the christmas calendar that's on tv here but thank you so much for watching if you have any questions or anything you are curious about you can just please let me know comment down below I will see you tomorrow.